So the mystery that is looked for is this, and it, it can appear as this, as looking for the mystery. Um, looking for this can't be explained. This can't be explained. Nothing can be explained away. Um, yeah, what's looked for is this. Whatever is appearing to happen, thoughts, feelings, sensations in the bodies, insights, whatever. Um, this is the mystery. And it won't be known as mystery. But it is, it appears like it's known through words. So, so then the words somehow become the real. And so there is uh, such a thing then apart as what is, or there is um, that this then can be known because everything in that else in life appears to be able to be known. So, um, and everything else in life appears to be able to be digested or understood or explained. And yet this isiness, this the actuality of um, seeking, the reality of seeking, that can't be explained. Um, thoughts can't be explained, feelings can't be explained. Nothing can be explained, but it seems like there's then two, it appears like there's two realities. One where um, the world is known as a world or a life, and there is a feeling of apartness from life. Um, and through that, the world is knowable. And somehow through the world being knowable, it seems to become safe and that safeness can lead to a sort of a tightness um a sort of a, an uncomfortableness about just in general living there can be a sort of uncomfortableness through knowing the world and let's say the freshness in is lost in the knowing and so then sitting on the chair, breathing, feeling, whatever is known as that. So then it's no, it's it's it, there has to be a way for this sitting on the chair, breathing, feeling to be better. And it's it's mostly about acquiring that there must be something to acquire, to learn, to understand, to make this all make sense, to make it better, to make uh uh, that sense of self or being there wiser or what sort is a kind of an image perhaps an image of um, peace an image of bliss an image of wisdom definitely what's not sought is uncomfortableness that's not sought it seems to be the sweet that's sought <laughs> the an idea of what life could be, should be, or would be if, let's just say, the sense of self dropped away. And that can be a sort of a seeking movement, this searching for uh, no self. And really, that what that is really is to know what it's like for there to be no self. So I don't know what um, it's like to be no self. There is no self. There's no self-seeking, there's no self-talking, and there's no self-asking questions. There's simply no self. And um, all that can be said is there's what is. And that what isness can't be viewed apart. It can't be, it, it's this hearing of a voice saying it's this. It's immediately the hearing, it's immediately the reactions, it's immediately whatever is thought, felt, and um, that's in essence what we're talking about. We're talking about the mystery of this, and um, 
and it's a mystery that can't be ever known because it also includes the wanting to know it. Um, so these gatherings, in a way, are about a sharing about this isiness, about this, this, and um, there's an opportunity to, if there's something there to be asked, to discuss, or to, you know, comment, then that it's there for that. Um, you can't do it wrong or right. You're not doing it. <laughs> so, um, if you haven't by chance been here before, just unmute and uh, just ask whatever is there to be asked and uh, let's see what happens. And there doesn't need to be a question either, obviously. Hey Frank, how are you, John? How are you getting on? Not too bad now. So, um, if there's no how to in terms of um, path, process, way to liberation. How can one then, okay, one doesn't exist, but at the same time, for now, identification with the body, mind, and all of that is there. So how does one become more open to, if there's nothing to do, if there's nothing not to do, what does, what does one, apart from being open, to the to, to the notion to the idea that you know that's being discussed um yeah what else can one do 
or not to. There is no one in there that asked that question now. But yet it's tricky to function in the world if you're thinking, if, if you're kind of like, like your response to what I just said, I can also say to myself in a, in a workplace scenario or family situation or uh, engagement or whatever. <clears throat> and yet there's this kind of almost mind game going on, this kind of chit chit or chatter from different kind of perspectives. Mm. And, and it's like, dog going around after his tail kind of thing mm. so i find I, I find that tricky well you see what what can be said is there's there's what is right there's what's appearing to happen and as what is there can be the felt feeling of whatever has been described so if it's felt that you're there and you're trying to get this then that's what's appearing to happen that's what is and that there's just that and it can't be had and you can't touch your attempt to kind of want to grab this or get hold of this so so thoughts don't require good old me nor do feelings nor do sensations nor does the hair or the beard <laughs> it doesn't require it the good old me and uh he, Good old me isn't required for there to be worrying or to be pissed off at a family event and for, do I have to go to this again? <laughs> There's no one. So don't get involved. I didn't, that, there's no, that's not a suggestion. I'm just saying there's no one doing anything. So there's no one worrying, but worry appears to happen. There's no one uh thinking but thinking happens there's no one doing feelings but feelings appear to be uh, to happen um there's no one in there for whom liberation could happen to so then it's the end of liberation end of all the ideas of path process time everything not one word so there's no seeking. So seeking can appear to be what's been described and felt. And if that's what is, that's what is. But there's no, uh, you know, authority that will go, all oh, right, well, that's what's happened. If that's what's been described there, then that's what is. And it'll be the same if somehow, you know, uh, they're declaring your own absence. There's no authority about that either. This is immediately as exactly what's happening. So it appears like, okay, questions are being asked. And in the normal run of the world, there's a kind of a sort of a, a mirage of hierarchy where someone who knows and someone who doesn't know, and they feed each other in questions. Here, absolutely nothing is known, but questions appear to be happening there. But that's the mystery. Immediately as that pouring through the senses and you could read forever and you wouldn't know how to do that but it seems to be what's being described in fact so you can't nod your head but nodding the head can happen <laughs> 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 laughter happens everything this includes absolutely everything Everything, 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 not an image of everything, not a better, you know, everything, everything, boundless everything. But that can't be captured by an image of a word, you know, an image of a word when the word like boundless is used. This is the boundless. Appearing like sitting on a chair, breathing, talking, questions. So is the is the ego is the ego then 
a barrier to what you're describing? So there's no barrier to what is. No veil, no anything. But there can be the felt feeling of seeking or wanting this uncomfortable or dis-ease, let's say, dis-ease. And that can be what's being described and felt. But, you know, there's no validation for that. And this idea then of ego and, but there is an ego. Well, is there? I mean, if that's what's felt there, then okay. But there's, from this perspective, there's nothing in the way of anything. All there is, is what is. And in a way, this is just, it's kind of been lost in stories about ego, consciousness, liberation, path, processes. Not a word is true. And that's why it's already kind of the case. It's already, let's just say, seen. Because it's, it's, this is, the innocence that's sought is appearing as looking for the innocence. It's already there, like sitting on a chair, hand on the, on the face, but somehow that becomes known, normal. Or, you know, that's, sure, I know that, Frank. Mm. But that's where this is nothing to do with any knowings, any word. And when, say, the whole thing, um, stops going on there it, you, it, what, there'll be nothing to say or to volunteer and there's a problem then with meetings like this that it seems like something is being relayed but nothing's being relayed here there's no under, no knowing no understanding no anything here at all all of the ideas concepts and held whatever images are there perhaps I don't know but there's nothing here there's nothing known here And and at some level, that's what draws me to this. I think is the or the sense I get is that it, what what draws me to this is the lack of concepts as such. And and as you said earlier, and I think you referred to it this morning as well, the lack of words that are normally used in a in discussions like this. That's helpful, I think, to some degree, but I don't know for what and to whom. <laughs> well, you see, in a way, there's no, uh, there's no, like, it's not like um, I'm sitting down and I'm, you know, deciding not to use certain words. It just appears like those words are not being used. Mm. And, it, it, you know, there's, um, like, this is just a, a response from nothing, but nothing is in a place. And that's a question from nothing. There's already no one in there asking a question. And, and so then it won't be discovered suddenly that there was no one. There'd have to be someone in there. So that so then you could say, you, you might say, well, the seeking just stops, just stops. And what's left, whatever is appears to be being described, felt, but really the, it won't be volunteered. It'll be, it'll be just, it's totally already the case. Utterly, it just seems to be eating forever these concepts and ideas that, and you see, because in words we're so used to eating knowledge and taking it in, consume it, and there's nothing here to consume at all, at all. And that's why there can you can be reach a point where you're just utterly sick of all these concepts, ideas. What are we talking about here? Sitting on a chair, breathing feelings and whatever arising. That's the mystery. It's not over there. It's not in some image of what it'll be like. It's immediately that scratching the head, wondering. It's that like. But it's like, I suppose, all of what the individual, what you've described is what all of the individual, all of what the individual has had to do to survive. And now at some level, if one gets a sense that, that that's an illusion, then does that begin to then fall away? So there isn't, there isn't a thing that's an illusion that can fall away. There's already no one in there. Like 
there's already no one asking that question. The, the boom question there. No one did that. So do you mean to tell me that it's the wondering and the thinking about this, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the mystery. As that. But this is swimming in the mystery, the mystery flooding the senses, asking the question, what is the fucking mystery? And it's that already. This is the mystery. And it'll never be known ever because there have to be a thing apart from it that could know it. So then the paradox is a description appearing like this. And then the one the, that's that. It, you know, the movement then is, I want to know that there's no one and I want to know that there's no thing apart. But it's just a description appearing and that's just a question appearing. And it's, it's fuck, it's this swimming. At, and that's why there's no difference there, here. There's no difference. It's just sounds. It's, it really it means much ado about nothing. You never did a thing. You never asked a question. You never thought a thought. You never felt a feeling. And if you definitely did, you write write an old book on how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Frank. Thank you.
Hi, Frank. Hi, Andy. I just um, have had this on my mind and I thought I'd put it here. Um, so have you heard the story about the, uh, 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 the lady who, who um, believes that the world is, uh, exists on the back of a turtle? You heard that one? No. Um, so the lady believed that the whole world lived was on a on a turtle, and a young chap said, "Well, uh, that's that's very interesting, madam. Um, what what is it?" But he thought he'd catch her out, you see, and he said, "Well, what exactly is the turtle standing on?" And um, and so she said, "Now you may think you're very clever, young man, but um, I can tell you, it's turtles all the way down." So I, I just love that phrase, turtles all the way down. There's actually a book, a book about it, but it's quite a meme. But, but I just love the idea of um, that as a signifier of infinite sort of recursive explanation that, 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 that's not really an explanation. It's, it's, a, it's almost like an image of, to me, it's almost like an image of a, of, of um, you, you know, you're trying to explain something and that's based on something which is also unexplained. So then you try to explain that and that's also, so I don't know if you've got any comment on that infinite recursive um, um, illusion. <laughs> no, nothing to say about that apart from the wonderfulness that nothing can be explained. And the relief about that. And nothing requires to be any explanation or understanding or anything at all. I mean, there is the idea that the world only exists because of this um, possibility of concepts, of explanations, of knowings. Mm. They're just turtles on top of each other going on, or like mirrors facing each other. There's nothing mm. really there. Nothing really there. You could say it's like a house of words, akin to a house of cards. You could say that. You know, when the house of cards falls apart, it's so flimsy, really. The whole story, it's so flimsy. <clears throat> and it requires X and Y. And so it's kind of like maths almost, X plus Y equals consciousness all right that explains it then <laughs> it's all about that but there's something wonderfully and horribly stale and dissatisfying about explanations there's a minute for the brain goes ah i've got that but the brain loves to chew really on like a dog with a bone in terms of concepts and ideas and understanding and whereas this really it's you know, there's just nothing in it for the brain. But obviously, people do seem to conceptualize all of this. But it's wonderfully, as that question, as that story appears, is absolutely everything. It's, um, yeah, wonderfully inexplicable. <laughs> and yet, look, words, talking, sharing, or whatever you want to say about what you know, this apparent sharing or gathering is still another story. Not one word. And the movement seems to be to make it kind of noble and safe. It's like this or it's like that. It's not like anything.
it's incomparably the hand on chin the thoughts appearing feelings and the uh, whatever might be are not 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 there it's inescapably as Hey Frank. Hi Laura. I was I the moment you said this word incomparable, like I was like uh like like I didn't know the English word. Like it exactly it's like like so this is like so fun because there is like I don't know the English terms, like there is this I don't know, it's like dumbness. Uh it, but it's like an quite a nice way of of dumbness so to speak like and like the brain always wants to find like these param parameters uh uh and and try to frame things up and it's like not necessary really like it's amazing it's not necessary it's, it's, well nothing can be done though it's just it, that's just happens yes you know, it just happens yeah yes yes yeah and it's but, a, it's a it's a dumbness or an innocence about what dumbness and innocence yes. is, is really yes and everything is incomparable even the feeling of i have been here to these bloody meetings before that's also an incomparable whatever amazingly yes but that's also what you know incomparable can be i'm just so uh bloody pissed off i hate this or whatever that's also the incomparableness or the miracle but doesn't sound great for that which might you know be seeking oh, because then, yeah. you know because then it sounds like it can be known as a thing apart, which is yes. miraculous. And then that's that's that goes on. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> hmm.
and the interesting thing is like if you cannot like um like evoke pain like i mean like that like, like when when pain is avoided and pleasure is sought like but you you cannot evoke pain like pain also happens i mean of course i could slap myself now and then have some form of physical pain like but i'm talking about more rather emotional uh pain pain it's like you cannot do it like also that you cannot do it it's also only if at all it only also happens like yeah well you can't do anything yes yes including saying you can't yes, do pain yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's inescapable, you know, it's as everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like moving from ocean drunk to ocean high for some seconds. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Wonderfully, it won't be had. It can't be had. So that's the doesn't have to be remembered or, you know, and it won't it doesn't have to be remembered or forgotten. It's nothing to do with any of those things. It says everything. That's the relief in a mm. way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if there's a question here, if there is no me, how come it seems like there is? Well, what can be described is that there is what is, and as what is, it can uh, can be felt like, um, well, there is a me, and uh, and. But from this perspective, that's a description or whatever, that, that there's just what is and uh, it includes absolutely everything, including feeling apart from that. And um, there's just no one in there from this perspective typing that question or wondering about the me or the no me. Um, but if what's been described there is that there is a me, then OK. But it won't be like validated or, you know, here anyway. There's loads of places that you can go to where they'll help you out with good old me and give you a dig out and help you lose your me and help you get a better me and da 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 da.
Um, so, another question. So, there is no one who feels like a me, but feeling like a me can and does happen. So, if if feeling like a me there is being described and felt, then that is what's being described and felt. From this perspective, nobody typed that question there. There's no one in there. There's just what's appearing to happen. But that's what is or what's appearing to happen is as everything, not just like a little bit, some parts. It's as every, every, everything. See, uh, everything, uh, the normal run of the world seems to be getting everything validated in some authority who knows and somebody who can validate uh, me, whether from a very young age about being, am I a good uh, boy or a girl? Am I, did I do the right thing? Have I done the wrong thing? Have I dressed well? Am I doing, am I doing this right? And here, there's absolutely no validation for anything at all. But if what's being, and that that actually, it is a, is a sort of a total aloneness, but it, it won't be anyone's aloneness, but this is utterly authority-less. And so therefore, then, that probably or can be quite confrontational when, the mammy and daddies don't tuck us in at night and give us that blanket comfort of knowing when we're not fed, when there is totally wonderfully, no one has a clue. <laughs> and that, but that, that can be wonderful and potentially horribly threatening. Um, so. So from your perspective, is there total openness? So this isn't even a, pers this isn't a perspective. This is um, a response. This is the sound of a voice. Um, and the idea of openness is another idea or image sought then. There's just what is, what's appearing to happen, to be described, felt, sought after, not sought after, just this. Sudden, suddenly asking, appearing to ask a question. Just that. And it's a kind of a mirror in a way. This is kind of then, there's no perspective here. So then any seeking for other is exposed potentially for what it is just seeking for that. And it's greeted with nothing. And then nothing can also be imagined as some place to get to, but it's just seeking. It's just seeking happening. It's a kind of a yeah. It's not even 
banging her head against a brick wall. There is a little glimmer of seeing what you're saying. Amazingly, it appears as that sentence then, not as any kind of image of what it might be, could be, or should be, or the little glimpse. It's as that there, so intimately that. That's what is. But it won't, it won't be a, a thing then that will be, have to be remembered or linked to anything. It'll be pulsating through the system as whatever is felt. Immediately that then, that can be described as what is, and <laughs> probably not much more will be said, really. Never needs to be held on to, understood, remembered. It's and it's it's, it's <laughs> the whole lock stock and two smoking barrels, it's everything. Unfortunately, everything appears as wanting to know everything, but that's still everything as that. And you can't do it right or wrong. Sorry to say, you ain't doing it. This question there, are you sorry? Why are you sorry to say? <laughs> bad is good news and apparently bad news that the prize that is sought has already been received. There is no self. So for that which is seeking something to say that it is appears as seeking, well, it's not the best news. <laughs> And also the most wonderful news. All right. Um, I'm going to jump. Hope you all have a lovely evening, morning or whatever. Take it whatever. Thank you so much, Frank. Thank you. Take it whatever way you appear to be taking it. Thank you, Frank. See you later. Thank you.